Hey everybody, I want to talk about polishing a turd today. This is a 06 2500 Ram that uh, we've utilized as a plow truck this year. And uh, we've had to pick away at a lot of Dodge issues, steering, suspension, etc. Um, we just put a set of leveling spacers on the front of this thing. And the front control arms were just completely wiped out. So uh, we went ahead and called up Metal Cloak and got a pair of their upper and lower control arms. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, that's the gold arms in there. And uh, went ahead and replaced all the hardware while we were at it. All the cam bushings. Um, sent it off and had it aligned and it was just really really nice results um, at the same time we went ahead and installed the uh, Bilstein 5100 series shock and a uh, Daystar spacer kit um, this is an affordable way of getting a couple inches worth of height I think it's two and a half inches to be exact um, and if your coil springs are in decent shape, it's okay. My, my preferred method, uh, especially for daily driven trucks, um, anything that you're going to use heavily off-road, I, I like to see a coil spring just because of the progressive nature for most of them. Um, but I need just need a little bit extra height on the front of this to get these tires on there. These are the Nitto Ridge Grappler. Uh, it's a 295-60-20, so it's just shy of uh, 34 inches um, on a 20-inch wheel. Um, American Racing. It's a 20 by 9 with a plus 20 millimeter offset and I was hoping it was gonna stick in the wheel well a little further but it didn't. Um, a pair of uh, bushwhacker fender flares on the front of this thing and a set of kickback fl uh, mud flaps. This thing's gonna be covered pretty well but you know it is. You just drive through a mud puddle and she's dirty. Um, I don't like that. Not like this thing's pretty like at all but um when you go to grab your door handle back there and you get a fist full of mud it's not real cool so but anyway um i just wanted to give a big shout out to metal cloak these guys are building a really nice control arm uh they utilize the duraflex joint which uh, i'll try and post a link to on this video but it's just a super super creative joint um, it's got a lot of deflection, but it utilizes a vulcanized rubber uh, bushing, which for ride quality is just totally cool. And as you can see, you know, with the two and a half inch kit or increase in height, I'll say, uh, we still have a pretty good angle on the control arm. It's fairly flat. So the only thing that axle has to do is move up when you hit a bump. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, they're also offset um, for clearance. As you can see that upper one is offset and the lower one's got some clearance in it for larger tires. So if you were running a stock wheel, uh, you could probably get a 37 inch tire on this thing to clear, which would be super cool. Um, any questions, be sure to post them below. And uh, if you like the videos, uh, I realize that they're rookie, but I'm gonna keep them coming. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I appreciate you watching.